the man that bought Stonehenge for 6,600 pounds. Four days ago in 1915, Stonehenge was bought at auction by a man named Cecil Chubb. As the legend goes, Chubb was only there to buy a set of dining chairs. Instead, he acted on impulse and made the winning bid for Stonehenge itself. Prior to his purchase, the monument was in perilous condition. Being a popular attraction since the Middle Ages, by the 19th century, people were known to chip the stones for souvenirs and stretch their names on the monument. In 1881, timber was used to prop the stones, considered to be in danger of collapse. Then, in December 1900, an upright sarsen stone fell and the massive horizontal lintel it held in place snapped in two. Chubb's impulsive purchase marked a turning point in the care and protection of the ancient monument. Three years after purchasing it, Cecil Chubb donated it to the nation to secure its future. A major survey and program of restoration followed. Today, English heritage proudly continues to care for Stonehenge so that generations to come can be inspired and delighted by one of the world's most important prehistoric sites. A lot of people may wonder how much Chubbs paid for Stonehenge and who owned it before. Well, Stonehenge had been owned by the Antrobus family since the early 1800s, but when the heir to the Antrobus baronetcy was killed in the opening months of the First World War, the estate was divided into lots and put up for sale via auction. So, therefore, at 2 p.m. on September 21st, 1915, the Palace Theater in Salisbury was filled with an interested audience, intending purchasers and spectators. And in the hands of Master Knight, Frank and Rootley, Stonehenge went under the hammer. Auctioneer Sir Howard Frank started the bidding at 5,000 pounds, and the bidding increased by 100 pound increment. And it went from 6,000 until the figure of 6,500 was reached by a local man, Isaac Crook, whose grandson Richard still farms the field around Stonehenge to this day. One more bid was received and the hammer remained aloft for an instant before being sold at 6,600 pounds to Cecil Chubb. Thanks for watching. It's more interesting, you can find it here.